Today we review cycling kits. Hello legends and super legends, welcome to Velo Harmony. In today's review, we're going to take a look at a collection of cycling kit from Suki Sports. Just got a batch of the latest offerings. Uh, some of them, one of them is not in my size, so I'm not going to wear that one. But the approach I want to take is to send so many pieces that I wanted to make, get this video out because in two days, today is August 8th, I believe August 10th, and they're in China, so they're 14 plus hours ahead of the U.S. mainland. But in two days, they're going to have a big sale. Use the links in the video and go there. You will get great discounts. They make excellent cycling products at reasonable prices. But what I want to look at is what they sent and kind of give you a general idea of the different kind of choices that are out there. So we're going to start with cycling bibs first, and then we'll get on to jerseys. So the first thing I want to do is this bib came. They have the different codes. This is called BS1606. It's a standard bib for mid to long distance riding. Now, they've got like a weave in the back. It looks like it's very breathable. I tried it on. It's very comfortable. I'm not going to put it on because it looks really short on me. I'm a tall guy, and this size is one step down from my size. So it fits me, but the legs are short. And so what I want to show you are the pads, the chamois. You see the design? They put a little, there's a split in there. These are very, very comfortable. That's kind of consistent with some of the other bibs I've done reviews on for them. I will put the link here in post-production so you can look at some of the older ones. But these, I like these because they're not super thick. It's kind of a mid-sized pad, but very comfortable. The one that I really am fond of from what they sent, I took them out of the packages and kind of tried them on. I'm glad I did because... This one's just shorter than I like my leg length to be. But this one is their first offering of cargo pants. They've got storage on the side. It's really nice. It has a similar design in the chamois as the BS1606. They call this one BS1603 cargo bibs. You don't need to know the model name necessarily when you go to their site. Using a link, you will see in the description to tell you cargo pants. You can pick the, 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 the pants that you want. But what I wanted to show you was this design is slightly different than this. Just a little bit back here. It almost looks like a ladder, like a step down at the end versus this, which is just one rounded piece at the end there. I'm not sure what the significance is, but I'm sure it has a lot to do with the comfort. It is a little thinner than this one just slightly but uh she told me the rep said that this is for very long distance cycling which makes sense because you got pockets on the legs you're going to be carrying stuff when you're going really far and i like this split down the middle it's almost like having two separate pads because you only want them where you need them you don't need pads in the middle you need them on your sit bones your issue of pubic rumbus this one here has a split but not not as the other one, not all the ways. This is a different style. And, and, and but both of them towards the front, there's less than in, in the back, which is really where you need it is on your sit bones, like I said earlier. In the front, I like how this one comes all the way up. Similar to this guy, just, you know, they're, they're styled the same, but they've got little different perforations. And I'm sure there's a reason. So I'm going to have her send me one of these in my size, so I can do like a long-term review of that one. This one here is my size. I'm not going to put it on right now until I show you. This bib has a lighter material. It's similar to the material when I did a video about their leggings, which is longer. Same material like this. This is for like, let's say two, two to two and a half hour ride. Let's say you're doing just a short, quick ride. You know, you're going to do some sprints or whatever. Very lightweight, very breathable. So this is for the hottest weather. The pad is different. It's a different color, different design. It's similar to the first one I showed you. The split goes all the way back, but then they've got like a little section in the middle here. You know, it's just a matter of you putting it on. I like the density of it. I don't like a lot of padding. I love my pad to be minimal, and this is minimal. 
This is really, really good for short, fast riding. So you're going on a weekend or hammer with the guys for a hammer fest. That's, that's what this is for. They call this one the BS1601. It comes in green. This is the colorway that she sent. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put this on. Then I'm going to take it off and put on the one I'm going to keep on, which is the cargo bibs. Let me go ahead and do that right now. So I wanted you to kind of see me finish putting this one on. These feel very stretchy, uh, almost like, a, I wouldn't call them leotards, but they feel so comfortable that this is something that even when you're not riding in, they would be great for just doing calisthenics, push-ups, whatever. The pads are very light and thin. You know, they're not necessarily designed for that, but I think it would be perfect for those of you who maybe you go to the gym for a bit before you go on your ride or something like that. This would be perfect for that kind of event. Let me go ahead and put this on. I'm going to put this microphone on the, on the side here. Let's just do it right here for now. The top, this very silky feels good to the touch feels cool to the touch okay there is no write-up on their site that tells you specifically what these are for and that's why i take my time when i do their reviews to give you additional information i would wear this in the hottest weather it just feels just cool against the touch even with this base layer on i can feel this material Nice and cool, and you see the perforation that's in there. Let me move this to the side. All right, so they feel good. I did not even remove the tags from them. I just kind of wanted to put them, put them on cold turkey. The, let me step back. The legs, beautiful. I love my shorts long. So this is how I would wear them. They've got, they've got like a... I believe, let's see, it's almost like a half inch band with light silicone that keeps them in place. But they are nice and long and very supportive if you feel a lot of compression. They, when you rub your hands on them, they feel like silk. So these are the business. It's a nice variety to have in any cycling wardrobe. So when you're going to just go for a hammer fest, I'd wear these. So if you're doing a six hour ride or something, they would probably work too, because I really love the way they feel. I feel like I could wear this all day long. And that's why I wanted to wear this and not the, the blue one, which really stops way up on my leg. I don't like the way it fits. It's not my size. They sent one size too small. So I've already sent her an email letting her know that the, it was too small. So now the fit is based on my waist. So you use that size guide, pick the size where you fall in. You don't want to be too much in the middle in that range that you found. So that the sizing for this one that she sent, she already knows my size. My waist is like almost 36, 35 and a half, something like that. Well, that size group for XL goes to 37.4, something like that. So I'm not down at the bottom. I'm a little above the middle. So it fits really well. And with bib shorts, you have a lot of room for error. Because even if it's not perfect, the fact that you got these straps, and this feels very elastic. So the, the feel of this makes me want to wear it. Feels good against the skin. You see me running my hands on it, just feel comfortable. So can't go wrong with these. I love the way they feel. They, they're, they're silky, almost unlike other lycra. I don't know what kind of lycra they used here. But it just feels slick to the touch, smooth and comfortable. I'm going to go ahead and take these off. So if you're going to get this brand, this one, which is the BS1601, the green, I would definitely get it for your fastest rides. Or if you're somebody who, yeah, you know, you're just starting to cycle and you, you've been, you're coming from the regular shorts and you want to go over, this would be a great introduction because this would definitely get you hooked. And if you've been cycling for a long time and you just want to try something, you can't go wrong with these. Let me go ahead and put on the cargo bibs and take these off. Okay, I've got the cargo bibs on. I'm going to put on this strap and then so I can get this microphone situated. 
It has a different feel than versus the one I just took off. It's not as silky smooth. This feels like the, all the standard Lycra shorts, whether they're made by ASOS, Black Bibs, Rafa. This feels like just the normal Lycra feel. It's tougher and so forth. The one I just took off felt closer to silk than anything. So it's a different grade of Lycra. This one is more of a standard Lycra. The backing has a lot of ventilation. So you can wear this in hot weather. They designed this with their longest wearing pads. Basically what she said was for very long distance riding, which is what we do on, on like Saturday, we'll, we'll ride six, seven and a half hours sometimes. That's very long distance riding. And we'll use these kind of shorts, basically. These are the kind of shorts that you want to put on that would be all day long and be comfortable. The density of the pad, I would call it minimal. So those of you who like low profile pads, these are perfect. I love low profile pads. I don't want to feel my pads. I don't want to feel like I'm wearing a diaper per se. And the same thing with this one. This is kind of a medium pad. It's a little thicker than the one I'm wearing, but it's not very thick. So they, they're, they're kind of in between their hedging. Too bad you didn't send any of my size for me to put on. But my first impression with the cargo shorts here is that the band, I'm going to step back so you can see how it fits my legs. So I have to do this just to avoid messing with, and not just these, all the things I put on, or I sit and let them draw up. But what I do is I put my finger under the, the band, and as I run it, the short kind of gets in place because I have really big thighs. They fit really well. Lycra feels really good, high-quality Lycra. I like how they put their name here, and this is where you would store things. There's going to be a limit to what you would put in here. You know, you're not going to be carrying a kitchen sink, but you could put gels or something. So let me get some stuff that I may consider putting in here because you don't want things that will be flopping around, and you don't want things that are sharp, like a package. If the wrapping is too sharp, you can cut this, because this is kind of a screen. That's how come you can see the lettering in the name there. Hopefully the camera picks that up. Let me get something to put in there. So really, what makes sense when you have cargo shorts is something you can reach easily. So for example, this gel. You need to be careful because some of these, depending on how they're packaged, can be sharp. What I usually do when I use uh, these kind of pockets, you fold them over and you can put it in like that. You see how I did my hand? Because you don't want to tear this. Okay, this is very elastic. Okay, that will hold that. As you pedal, it won't move. I'm going to put another one here. I wouldn't carry this much, but I just want to show you how they designed it to where as you're pedaling, it doesn't move around. So it's really, really practical. You could put a few things in here, take something out of your back pocket, put it in here so you can access it quicker. It's, I think it's neat, but I like how it, it stays in place, kind of rounds out, really feels, feels very well. They have them on both legs. You can do the same thing here. You can put something in there. So it's nice, it's not in the way. And when you remove stuff, the pocket just disappears. And so even though they call it cargo shorts, they feel just like standard bib shorts. They're nice and compressive. They fit really well. There's nothing that will give you any chafing if you get your correct size. And they have different kinds of materials that they use. Right here is a different kind of Lycra versus here. This appears to have more of a weave on it. And this is less standard looking Lycra. I like the robustness of the band. It's not going to start pilling on you and all that. You know, even some of the top vendor stuff, they're not as durable. But the width of this band is so durable that it will stay in place. That's just serious. You know, they're really, really doing a good job with their stuff. I love how it feels. So I will definitely be wearing it on the ride so you will get to see it in action. But I wanted to get this video out so you guys can take advantage of their sale. Now, in this section, we're going to move over to the jerseys because they're doing some nice things for those of us who are experiencing some hot weather. And, you know, for six weeks or so, we haven't had any rain down here. And the, the, I'm going to just 
bring out this one. This jersey, I, I don't know if I did a review or not, and I will look. If I did, I'll put the link here. But this is their jersey. Paul Ilonga has it in purple. I have that in orange. And this is the blue colorway that we just got. So it's the same design. Three pockets on the back. So I'm not going to put this one on, but uh, you will see it on the rides. But I wanted to share with you just a different colorway. They call it, the model number, if you go to their site and you're looking for it, is CS1122. That's the model number. Very breathable, very form-fitting. Fits you like second skin. I've worn this on many videos, you know, group rides and so forth, so you probably have, may have seen it. I'm going to leave that. And also... The CS1109, they call the Smalling Shark jersey. We wore them on one of our group rides earlier in the year, I believe, either late April or May. We wore this. Fits just like this, just a different design. Beautiful. The one that I want to put on in this video, I didn't want to put on all of these, and the video will be too long because I really want you guys to take advantage of the sale. That their sale, she, she did a write-up, I printed it out so I would have to share with you here. She said that uh, they have a promotion that will begin in two days. I'm not sure what they're, it's such, I think it's up to like 30% off. You know, a lot of the vendors are having like end of season sale and so forth. But it's such a big sale that I wanted to get this video out so you all would take advantage of because the prices are already reasonable. And so if, if you're getting up to 30%, it's a steal. You got to take advantage of it. But what I wanted to share in this video as far as the jersey is this new jersey they, they, she sent. The model number is CS1101. The fabric is lighter than all the other ones they've sent us so far. I'm hoping this camera can do it justice. I'm going to be putting this one on. The back... I like that it's, it's a mesh. Let me, let, me, let me zip it down. Maybe the camera will pick up what I'm seeing. I'm going to come closer here. You can see the mesh, hopefully. I'm going to do it like this. There's a mesh in the jersey, front and back. On the inside, it's a mesh fabric. But on the outside, it looks regular. So it's great for those of you, those of us, because the, the sun has been bugging me lately. I've been using arm sleeves on some of the videos to keep that off because we it's just been so hot. So if you're concerned about mesh jerseys that have mesh on the back, you don't have to worry about it. Somehow they designed the fabric to where you can see the mesh, but when you turn it like this, it shields you from the sun. So you have sun protection, but you get the benefit of that airflow because the mesh appears to be on the inside, but not on the outside. I don't know how they did it, but that's how the fabric is. It's just beautiful. Let me put this on. Just soft. It's like there's nothing there. It's, and you can tell it's breathable as I put it on. And it made the arms a little longer. They've got a half-inch sleeve, similar to what was on the legging of that green one that I wore. And that will keep the arm in place. It just feels good against the, the body when you put it on. I will not be wearing it with a base layer, of course. I'm just doing that for this review. Uh, this is for the hottest weather. The cool thing about these kind of jerseys is you can always layer them, like you see me doing, on milder days or cooler days. You know, not super cold days. But you can get a lot of use out of these, at least for most of the year. You know, except in your very, very cold temperatures. So let me put this on. The label is still on there. But that's okay. I'm going to get the zipper in it. They're using a high quality. It appears to be YKK zipper. I really like that. Easy to, easy to use. This little strap is in the way down here. That's why it slipped out. But once it's in there, it's easy to use. Very, very, very glove friendly. Even if you wore them in temperatures where you were wearing a full, full finger glove. So, what I've noticed as I zipped it up right here, just went like that. So, standing, it feels a little uncomfortable, which is what you want for a cycling jersey. But as soon as I do this, there. 
So they, they're focusing on now the riding position. This is a truly almost like an arrow fit. I'm going to turn around and now I'm going to load up the pockets because you know that's what I'm into. The pockets are reinforced. All the jerseys are. But this band keeps things in place. Let me go ahead and stock up. Yeah, here we go. I got a few things here, but I'm going to get more. So when I'm riding on my longest rides, I put this in the back. I usually have a camera here. Then I got food. And then sometimes when I'm riding solo, I take a third water bottle. It's been so hot around here. That's what I've been doing lately. I'm not surprised that the pocket is so robust. The first thing I notice is that the food stays up here. It's not sagging. This band that they put down here, it's not going around the entire jersey. It stops halfway. It is strictly there to support this area and keep things in place so nothing moves around. This is the kind of jersey where you could buy like uh, an electrolyte drink, stick it in your pocket during a ride, and you know, carry it, you don't want to finish it at the store or whatever. This thing will hold. Then on the front, they have a smaller band right here than what you see on the back. But the cut of the jersey now is higher than some of their older jerseys. I really like this. So that when you're in the cycling position, it doesn't dig into your shorts right down here. I really like the, the, the length of the jersey. This is uh, the CS1101, and I think they have hit the, the bar higher because this is their newest jersey, and it's very, very well made. Okay, so as I wrap up this video, you can see those two jerseys over there, the Velo Harmony jersey that they made for us. They used their custom site. The link will be in the video also. If you want to see a video about how to use their custom site, if I get enough inquiries about it, i probably make one, but I think the site is fairly intuitive. Why am I mentioning, mentioning this? I get lots of contact, email, whatever, from viewers that are big guys, okay? They're not the average cycling guys, you know, and they have trouble finding kit that fits them. Suki is one of the manufacturers that will make a one-off kit for you at just regular prices. You know, there's no penalty or whatever. You can do your own design if you want to. They have designs you can copy. Some people have already bought some of our jerseys and they've made changes to our jersey because our design is out there. They've made changes to it. The Suki custom site is a different site. The link will be in the video. But you can go and customize your own jersey. As you wish, you can upload a JPEG picture or anything that will take it and it will put it on your jersey. You can do your own thing. There's no minimum. You don't have to buy 15 or five. You just buy one if you want to. But then you can also contact them. And if you need a big size or something else and you have their dimensions, I'm sure they will work with you. I will, I will send her an email letting her know that I've mentioned it in this video because I think that they're one of the few manufacturers that really cater to the customer. And so, they're headed in the right direction. They're doing really nice things. I mean, see this jersey, you know. So they, they do OEM stuff. So if you're running a company or you want to order bulk or whatever, you get even better discounts than the, 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 the personal com consumer who's just buying his or her own jersey. But you can't go wrong with that. So we got two copies, two different shades of orange, red orange and a kind of a yellow orange from them. And so I wanted to mention that if, I, if there's enough interest, I may make a video on how to use their site, but the site is very easy to use. And they have a free chat plugin that you can communicate with them. They're really good about responding. So you see how that fit? That, this is how I like my kit to fit. I don't want anything flapping. And so they, they have done it right. So I will be contacting her to see if she has other colorways and then maybe do other reviews on, these, on this particular jersey in the future. And if we get our size in this new short, we'll do that. But it's just, you know, it fits really well. You can see how these fit. Let me move back. You see how this looks. So I will put this on the road later and follow up, you know. But right now, I wanted to get this video out so you all can take advantage of the sale that's coming up in two days. So, to that effect, let nothing stop you from getting your K's in.